It's like when you first uh, turn on the, the heater in the house for the, you know, the cold weather the first time. It's got that smell. Hi. 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 You're watching Two Dumb Guys. I'm Brian. This is Ed. This is my little boo boo. Mm. I brought snacks. Yeah, I saw you brought a bag of snacks that uh, you would not let me look at. Yeah, I went so. to the I went to the market. Uh, I don't know, man. It's the Sugar Hill Farmers Market. It's not a farmers market. It's a grocery store. But yeah, they got all kind of good stuff, random, worldly snacks. So I bought a bunch, and we're gonna eat them. All right. And we're gonna talk about how they make us feel or whatever. Ooh. I'm gonna start with the one that I'm least looking forward to, which is shrimp crackers. Okay. They look like Arida fries on the back. <laughs> I love if I can get it open. I love shrimp and I love shrimp toast and oh like god, the the odor immediately hits you. Oh yeah, I don't think that this is something. I love everything shrimp, but this I'm gonna go ahead and tell you before I'm I try. I'm gonna try one of these. We'll see. We'll see how shrimp crackers are. Actually, it's not that. It's not good. It kind it tastes like fish food smells. It doesn't taste like anything to me. It's not a very strong flavor, but what's there isn't very good. I'll try one more. I mean, I'm getting like a hint of shrimpiness. We should have gotten some water before we started this. Oh, the shrimp is hitting me hard now. Yeah. Hey, kitty, you want a shrimp cracker? I should, don't don't feed your cats shrimp crackers, but I'm going to. These cats who will eat pretty much anything are like not even interested in the shrimp cracker. But yeah. I have water now. I'm literally gonna throw these away. <laughs> but we will, you know, decide where it goes on the ranking. Yeah. Right now I'm gonna say it's at the, it's at the end. Yeah. That it's the last. The next one I'm really looking forward to. Pran Hot Chanchur Bombay Mix. Chanachur. Chanachur, whatever. Bombay Malone. Chanachur Bombay Mix. That smells okay. It's just like a trail mix. Give, give a sniff. It smells all right. Let's see. A spicy blend of noodles with peanuts, pulses, and flattened rice. I'm okay with that. I'll grab me a little handful of this. Yeah, give me a little pinch. Let's see. There we go. I got some peanuts and whatnot. That I like. Yeah, it's pretty mild. Oh, well, I got a little heat at the end there. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not it's not too hot, but as far as the trail mix goes, it's really good. I'm gonna say that's mm. number one right now. Yeah. So if you can find this stuff, buy it, but I'm not gonna make it a I'm not gonna make it a hundred percent recommendation yet. That's a ooh, that's got a little heat of thing. Because I haven't tried all of the snacks, but that's a good snack. That's one of those that gets the saliva going and mixes the heat with the saliva and then it gets spread around and I got more Ooh. bags of stuff. It's very tasty. It's way better than the shrimp cracker, which is directly to the trash, as I've already said. Yeah. <laughs> shrimp cracker gets thrown away. Not even the cats will eat it. <laughs> a fish probably wouldn't eat it. And they'd be like, oh, shrimp. Oh, cool. No, that's disgusting. I'm not yeah. eating that. It does kind of taste and smell like It's fish like a food. candy cap hot fry. Yeah. Next up, plantain chips. Okay. Chili I've lime. Had, spicy. I've had a lot of plantain chips, and Bye. I'm happy with them. Gimbos <laughs> or Jimbos. Is it Jimbos or Gimbos? I don't know. I don't know. I got B-roll. You <laughs> tell me. I shot B-roll this morning, which I meant to do yesterday, and I forgot. So I did it today. Okay, plantain chips. Now these, you get a good plantain whiff Yeah. off the front. Smell just a little hint of the... They're thinner than plantain chips that I usually get, but... I bought these because of the chili lime. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of chili lime. I love the taki. So I should love this because I also love the plantain. Oh, that's good. Really? I'm not a big fan of it. I think I feel like every other plain, plantain chip I've had has been tastier than this one. <laughs> Honestly, like this. this is like the worst plantain chip I've had, which is not that terrible, though. It's just b lesser than all of those. I like this. I don't know where I'm going to rank it, but I like it. I, I'm putting that in the middle for me. Then yeah. I got Diana's Crunchy Corn Bits. 
Okay, okay. El Atichos Crujientes. <laughs> Spicy, crunchy corn bits. Like corn nuts, basically. Yeah, basically. You give them the sniff test. Doesn't really smell like much of nothing but corn. I smell corn. I smell the heat. Have you smelled the heat? <laughs> let's give it a little. Let's give it a little good handful. It's like when you first uh, turn on the the heater in the house for the you know the cold weather the first time. It's got that smell. Mm. These are really good. They yeah, are that's... basically corn nuts, but <laughs> you got crunch. Mm. It's good. I like that. Yeah, that's um definitely not my number one in the ranking. Yeah. That's a it's a very close number two for me. Yeah, the Bombay thing is still number one for me. The plantain chips probably your number three at this point. <coughs> With the shrimp crackers bringing up the rear. Yeah. Now, I got one more bag, and then I have some some more like sweetie type things. Okay. Twelve. Yeah. I don't know what these are. <laughs> Rancheritos. El mero mero. El mero mero. Sabor ranchero. I don't know what that means. My Spanish isn't that good. 15% mas producto. There is 15% <laughs> mas producto. producto. So you get 15% more of whatever this is. <laughs> I mean, they look like they're just some kind of tortilla strips that are seasoned. It, it, it is. It, it's a little chip. Tortilla chip. Not much of a smell. No. Not much of a taste either. They don't taste too salty, which I do like. I mean, yeah. it's 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 a standard corn chip, man. I mean, it's like I was trying to figure out, like I said, could it be a barbecue flavor or what? But I'm not really getting a flavor off of it at all. I kind of like it. Of course, it's mild, the, but the spicy corn nuts might be might be you know tainting my judgment here. Because the water, I, I'd say they're definitely better than those plantain chips. Yeah. It's, just, it's, 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 a, it's like a little, slightly stale Dorito, kind of, with a milder, milder flavor. There's definitely a lime into the, a lime component to this. Yeah. But it's not as good as the plantain chips, in my opinion. I am the other way on you, or from you, not on you. I'm the other way on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, no. it, 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 but I actually, I do very much, I do like those. Those are pretty good. Those are number four. Behind the plantain yeah. chips. Again, shrimp crackers at the ass end. Because yeah. I should not have bought the shrimp crackers. But I had to. Because I had to know. One time I bought some dried squid in a bag like that. And it was... I love squid. But that dried squid was not good at all. And I remember like throwing it away in the trash can at work. And like people got mad. Because they could still smell it. <laughs> <laughs> These are some little cookies. Parlay G Gold. Parlay G Gold. Now... This little kid freaked me out. Yeah. Because I don't know what... This kid's like... I'm is, this many. Is he throwing up a gang sign? He's either, he's throwing, she, might, she, there's earrings. Of course, that like, could be a boy. Yeah. But, you know, lipstick too. Still could be a boy. So either way, child. this child is throwing up gang signs. I we, think you're right we, on We don't that. need to put a label on, on a kid. But uh, I don't know. <laughs> it won't come open. It's like the pineapple. Oh, there we go. I got him open. The These pineapple. are just little biscuits. Yeah, you'll. I'll, I'll explain it. Later, okay. <laughs> there, have, have a have a little parlay G biscuit. I like it. I like it when food has its name on it. <laughs> it does. Parlay G. Just a nice little butter cookie. Yeah, this is a really good butter cookie though. It is pretty good. This would be good with a cup of coffee. Oh, I have coffee. Black coffee and one of the, one or two of these. That's a nice little treat. I like this. This is really good actually. Uh, the rest of these are sweet, and we were just break it down to. Savory and sweet options. Well, uh, this would this would be doing well for sweet. It's funny that you mentioned that because I don't know where to put this one. Castapan guava paste for sporting people. Mm -hmm. We actually had some guava paste in the fridge for a long time. It was, <laughs> which is guava paste. I don't think lasts very long. <laughs> so well, it was probably not a good idea to have it in there for more than a week. Have a cube. It <laughs> seems to be covered in salt or sugar. I'm not sure which, but I'm going in. It's sugar. It's not bad, but it, it doesn't really taste like much. I mean, it tastes like guava. I think... Because it's, it's, it's like a sweet fruit paste covered in sugar. So... I think if I were a sporting person... Yeah. This would be right up my alley. Like, if I rode a bicycle like this guy... Yeah. I think it's number two. Yeah. Right now. It's... Mm. Yeah. Those cookies are actually... Okay. The more I think about it, those cookies are really good. I just hit more of the guava flavor to it. 
Mm, this is a tough call now. Cookies are really good. But so is this guava paste for sporting people. Yeah. <laughs> and they put and they put the shit in Spanish too. Para deportistas. My last thing is hide and seek black bourbon cream sandwich <laughs> vanilla. Okay. That sounds good. It's like an ice cream sandwich. That's what it looks like. It looks with like bourbon. Room temperature ice cream sandwich. So <laughs> self sickle ice cream sandwich. <laughs> this is the one that Jess told me I had to bring home so she could try. I'm excited about this. Well, I, I am too. If I could get the bag open. Okay. Oh, the smell coming out of it already is amazing. I'm a little stuffy, so I can't smell anything just yet. So grab you a cookie there. Let me actually. Yeah, give a sniff. Okay. I can sort of smell. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe it's not actually, maybe bourbon's like the name and it doesn't have any bourbon yeah, involved. I don't think it has bourbon involved. That'd be whack, man. But you wanted to get pastry drunk, so. <laughs> it's a good sniff. It's kind of like an Oreo, but better. A good bit above Oreo and slightly better even than a Hydrox. And a Hydrox. <laughs> Hydrox is better. Not just because it came first. So, God damn. savory, we agree. Right. Shrimp crackers. Out the door. In, in the trash. <laughs> if, if, you know. So between the remaining four. Oh, and the Bombay makes a five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, four. Oh, okay. There's four. So between these, <laughs> I'm thinking Bombay mix is number one. Yeah. Corn nuts are number two. And then I'm going here for the last two. Yeah. I, I agree, except for these two. I would put the Rancheritos above these plantain chips. Really? These are just not... I've had such good plantain chips. Like, from the gas station or from Trader Joe's and a couple other places. But, like, these are just... I'll try one more. But this is definitely number one regardless. What, whatever three or four ends up being, you should go out and try to find this. Yeah, this is good. This is like trail mix made by somebody who can throw down trail mix, <laughs> yeah. basically. <laughs> the Bombay, was it Bombay mix? Uh, what's the brand on it again? Uh, Prawn. Prawn. <laughs> Prawn, hot chanachur. We were saying all of us wrong. Hot chanachur Bombay mix. Yeah. Now, this is so fucking. Good. As far as the desserts. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I believe that of the, the three sweets here. Yeah. And that's a, this is actually a harder call, I think. I think we're both in 100% agreement that this is probably yeah. number one. I am torn between the bourbon, the hide and seek black bourbon cream sandwich, and the guava paste. Yeah. That's hot. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking. <laughs> it's Bombay mix. Like, oh, like, oh, of course it's hot. I'm thinking <laughs> I'm going to put them this way. With the guava paste bringing up the rear. Yeah. It's good, but it takes a minute to get that guava hit. Yeah. Whereas this, it's just immediate satisfaction of Oreo. I like But the a better Oreo. Softer versions of guava paste. Uh, and also, I feel like it's too much sugar on the outside. This is this is just really good. Yeah. Uh, but that, but That's surprise, true. and I usually don't like things that are that simple when it comes to like desserts and sweets. But this it, is the best. If you do something simple and you do something, like, if you nail it like this, then, yeah, good on you. So, go to your world market, wherever you have one, and find some Parley G Gold Butter Cookies. They're amazing. And get you the hot Bombay mix. This is the one-two combo. Yeah. And the battery's about to die, so thanks for watching this. I'm going to need some milk. It's like two links, just click them. First we get the clicks, then we get the money, then we get the power.